And I believe that it's a key pillar of our efforts in Afghanistan and Pakistan in particular to ensure lasting peace, security and development for our people. Uh, I just want to make two or three very brief points. Uh, firstly, to thank uh, the Center for Peace and Development Initiatives uh, for inviting me here. Uh, I'm honored and privileged to be among you. Um, and uh, again, in, uh, uh, at the very beginning, I would like to pay tribute uh, to those fallen journalists in Pakistan, in Afghanistan, in other countries who have given their lives or sustained uh, grievous wounds uh, in doing their work. Um, and in that connection, I'm very happy uh, to see Brother Hamid Mir uh, amongst us, uh, who survived uh, six bullets in his body and is uh, 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 even stronger and younger because of it. Uh, we're delighted to, to see him and we pay tribute uh, to you and celebrate uh, your uh, courage and your dedication to the cause of press freedom and freedom of expression in, uh, in, in, the, in this great country. The second point that I would like to make is that uh, there are uh, similarities between the situation in Afghanistan and the situation in Pakistan, uh, not only in terms of the revolutions uh, that have taken place in the area of the growth and expansion of private independent media in both countries, but also, I would say, some of the challenges and some of the difficulties and threats that journalists and media outlets and media houses in both countries have, uh, have, have been facing. Uh, the whole t challenge and uh, menace of terrorism and extremism and other difficulties and, and challenges. So the point that I would like to make here, uh, perhaps a suggestion, uh, a very humble suggestion from what I know of the situation in Afghanistan and the experience in Afghanistan is for a closer engagement between Afghan and Pakistani journalists. Uh, I think there are some experiences, some lessons learned when it comes to uh, media safety, journalist safety, uh, journalist protection in Afghanistan that Afghan journalists can share with their Pakistani brothers and sisters. Uh, I think there are lessons that uh, Pakistani journalists can share with their Afghan brothers and sisters. Uh, and there may even be room uh, for a regional mechanism for the safety and protection of journalists between Afghanistan and Pakistan. Uh, 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 what I know of the situation in Afghanistan is that, uh, or at least the one thing that I, that I know that, are, that I remember vividly is the establishment of a journalist's safety mechanism that was then adopted uh, sort of owned by all media associations and journalists unions in Afghanistan. So it became, uh, if not a, f a, a, a formal institution on paper, but at least a, a common uh, mechanism that was owned, that was adopted by all media houses, by all associations and unions of Afghan journalists. And it's now a very effective tool uh, for Afghan journalists to help their colleagues, whether they're in Kabul or out in the provinces. And I think maybe a similar joint mechanism between Afghan and Pakistani journalists could be something uh, that uh, this uh, seminar, that this conference and the distinguished experts uh, sitting around the table can, can discuss uh, and think about. Uh, and with that, with those very brief comments, I would like to thank you uh, once again very much and uh, to rededicate myself and also the Afghan Embassy in, in, in Pakistan to the great work that you're doing and uh, if there's anything ever we can do, please let us know. Thank you very much.